Today we will see some mistakes related to bar graph and double bar graph. Mistake 1. Students often have difficulty in choosing the right scale when drawing a bar graph or a double bar graph. Like here, the number of students present in the class on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday are shown. Children often think that it become easier to draw a bar graph if the scale is considered as multiple of 5, 10 and multiple of 10. But this is a misconception. Here we see if all the numbers are multiples of 6, therefore it will take 1 unit is equal to 6 students. Then it will be very easy to draw the bar graph. But if we take the value of the unit, as 10, then it will be difficult to represent the numbers shown. It will also increase the chances of mistakes. Can you tell what scale can we take here instead of 1 unit is equal to 6 students? Think, think. We can also take this scale as 1 unit is equal to 3, 4 or 12 students. Actually, it is not necessary that the given numbers are always multiples of a single number. In such a situation, we choose the scale that allows us to represent more and more numbers. Mistake 2. Some children have difficulties in finding out what information is given in the double bar graph. For example, if they are asked, what information is shown in double bar graph, then they are not able to answer it. To find out what information is shown in a double bar graph, it is necessary to look at what is represented on the x-axis and the y-axis, as well as understanding what each bar represents in a pair of bars. Here, the number of ice creams sold is shown on the x-axis and the days are shown on the y-axis. Here, the brown bar represents the number of chocolate ice cream and the pink bar represents the number of strawberry ice creams. With this understanding, we can say that sale of chocolate and strawberry ice creams on different days has been compared in double bar graph shown. So today we have seen some mistakes related to bar graph and double bar graph.